Drop the knife! The cop had it. Watch, watch, knife! 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 People often discuss how Karens are recognized for their entitled attitudes, thinking they're above the law. But what unfolds when these individuals choose the wrong battle, attempting to take on police officers and barking up the wrong tree? Drop the knife now! Drop it now! Watch knife! 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 What? You fucker, do not touch me! Get his fucking hands off me! Get your fucking hands off me! Here's some cases when dumb Karens try to fight cops. Starting with the case of Brandy McGowan, March 30th, 2022. The police got a call about Brandy. She was threatening people with a brick at a Florida Walmart. Later, she thought the brick wasn't enough and stole a pocket knife to use instead. When the officer came, he found Brandy with the knife. Drop it now! Drop the knife! The cop had his service weapon, but Brandy wouldn't drop hers. Drop the knife now! Drop it! Get back. Back up. Drop the knife now! Brandy appears completely oblivious to the fact that the officer has a gun pointed directly at her, with a taser visible on his utility belt. In this situation, the officer is fully within his rights to employ the taser to subdue and disarm her if he perceives her as a threat himself and the nearby civilians. Despite this, it's evident that she fails to grasp the gravity of the situation, standing her ground and persisting in threatening people with a weapon. At this juncture, additional officers arrive on the scene, diverting attention away from the initial cop for a brief moment. This gives him the chance to switch from his weapon to the taser safely. In this scenario, using the tailor is evidently a more preferable option for employing non-lethal force. However, lowering his weapon during a one-on-one -on -one standoff can be perilous, and the arrival of the other officers serves as a timely relief, allowing him to switch to and deploy the taser. The taser effectively neutralized Brandy, allowing the officers to cuff and detain her. Following the Walmart incident, she was brought to a nearby hospital for assessment, revealing her unsurprising state of being high on crystal meth. It turned out that she had consumed over 4 grams of the substance before wreaking havoc in the store. Upon returning to the police station, it was uncovered that Brandy had an extensive criminal history, including offenses like burglary, kidnapping, and battery. In connection with this incident, she received an additional charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, carrying a potential penalty of up to five years in prison and a fine of $5,000. Now let's move on to the second case involving 29-year-old Leah Baker. On April 11, 2020, she called the police to her Jacksonville, Florida home after an argument with the housemate about medication. However, when Officer Elizabeth Meckling arrived, little did she know that her life would be in danger. Suddenly, Leah burst out of her home and attacked the officer with a butcher knife, causing injuries. The officer instructed Leah to lie on the ground, but she opted to retrieve the knife. Drop the knife! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Two shots were fired, both luckily missing. Another off-duty officer, alerted by Officer Elizabeth's radio call, came to provide assistance, yet the situation took a rapid and alarming turn. Shots fired! Put that knife down right now. Get on the ground! Get away from that knife! Ignoring the officer's instructions, Leah seized the knife and charged at Noble. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! She's 
Even when other officers arrived at the scene, Leah continued to demonstrate uncooperative behavior. At this point, Leah began punching a police canine that had latched onto a leg after the shooting. The dog then dragged her onto the street as officers took her into custody. Paramedics soon arrived to treat her, but Leah, who was reported to have mental health issues by her mother, was later pronounced dead at a hospital. On the other hand, Officer Elizabeth was taken to the hospital for treatment, but fortunately sustained only a minor injury. Unfortunately, for suspects who believe attacking cops was a good idea, the situation only worsened. Now let's move on to the third case of Jamie Fife. April 29th, 2022, police officers responded to a call at the residence of 34-year-old Jamie Fife, reporting a case of physical domestic violence involving her and her unnamed partner. Initially, the officers managed to de-escalate the conflict. However, as they escorted Jamie out of her bedroom, she made a regrettable decision, leading to a tragic turn of events. Watch, watch, knife, 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 knife. Seconds after they left the room, Jamie armed herself with a knife and tried to stab the officers. In response, she was shot twice, causing her to fall to the floor. Throughout the altercation, Jamie's partner, held by an officer out of the camera's view, shouted at the cops as another officer fired a third and fourth shot. 911, send an additional. We got one at gunpoint. Fuck. Regrettably, Jamie was pronounced dead at the scene, and the shooting is currently under investigation by the New York Attorney General. It's evident that you should never fight with cops because it can end up worse than you ever imagined, sometimes even resulting in death. Now, turning our attention to the fourth and final case featuring Sean Malaki, who was already under an arrest warrant. Back on June 9, 2022, an arrest warrant was issued for Sean, and a police officer followed her home to carry out the arrest. Yet he swiftly discovered that apprehending her wouldn't be as straightforward as a walk in the park. Hey, step out of the car right now. Get out of the car. Ma'am, we'll talk about everything, but get out of the car. Yep. 20x per day, we're in the garage, she's closing. Ma'am, step out. Excuse me, excuse step out. me, no, excuse me. Step Put out. your hands off of me. Step out of the car right no. now. Excuse yes. No. Step out of the car. Get your hands off Get of me. Get out of the car. No. You're under arrest. No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Yes, you are. Get your hands off. Open this off garage door. Excuse me. Let go. No, you get your hands off of me. No. Get out of the car now. No. I will tase you if you don't get out of the car. You better take your hands off of me right now. Get your hands Michael, off of stop. me. Stop. I told you you're under arrest. Get out of the car. Why? Because you have a warrant and you're wanted no. for a domestic battery. Yes, you are. Excuse me. I just sent a message and I am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the car right now. No. I told you I can handle this peacefully, but you have to get out of the car. No, you have never yeah. said that. I sent you a message. My attorney... Affirmative. I won't cough up. You... Excuse me. Did somebody say that you could come into our house? You don't stop tugging I'm going to tase you if you don't get up in her. No. Yes. No. You're obstructing right now. Do you no, understand you're that? obstructing. I'm not going to tell you again. No, I'm not going to tell you again. Get out of the car. Right. The officer observed that there were children in the car, anticipating the mother to cooperate to avoid causing a scene. However, he quickly realized that she wasn't concerned about that. The woman was determined to stay in the car, and the cop became aware that the only way to make her come out was through force. Has we're, we're going out here this way. To quash this. You hit us, you do anything stupid towards us, and we're any charge done. If you hit us, or anything, let's go. You've already hit me. She was now restrained, and the only task left was placing her in the back seat of the police car. 
a prospect disliked by all individuals like her. I didn't hit you. I asked you out of the car. I told you you're under arrest. Now you got a whole show for your neighbors here. You are a dick. Jennifer. My children don't have anybody at home right now. You're going to put my kids alone in danger? I need to call my attorney. I'm not getting in that car until I call my attorney. At this juncture, Sean recalled the kids, criticizing the cop for what she deemed as distasteful behavior in their presence. That's I'm calling my no, I'm calling my attorney. It's not gonna happen. No, I'm calling my attorney. I'm gonna tell you right right now. No, no, I'm calling right my attorney. No, I'm calling my attorney. Sit in the car. My children are home alone. I'm giving you an order. Sit in the car. We will my get children your here. are home, home alone. alone. My children are home okay. alone. We will and take I'm care of your children. No, you're not taking care of shit. I'm gonna get the way that you take care of somebody is throwing them down on the ground. No, you are a mother. Are you, you are a shitty fucking human being. That's messed up. You, you throw somebody down in front of their children? What the fuck is wrong Sit with you? Sit down! I no, told you to fuck you! Fuck you! You piece of shit! You know what? You are the piece of dirt that I wouldn't piss on if you were on fire. I smell you an odor of alcohol on your breath. No, that's my piss. That's your piss? I'm pissing on you. Okay. Despite the clear delusion in her statements, the cop detected a hint of alcohol on her breath. As he reported this, Sean saw an opportunity to exploit a way out. Guess what? What? You're the worst part of the society. You think? I don't think so. Oh, no, I know it. I don't think so. I fucking know it. You are the worst. You take down a mother in front of her fucking children, but you are somehow fucking He asked you pretty politely to get out. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Were you there? It sounds like you were fleeing, right? Were you there? All right, we're good. Were you there? You saw my emergency lights before you even got in the, in the Were alley. you there? Like, were you bend there? Your, bend your legs. No, were you there? Bend your legs. Don't get Were you there? Ooh. Were you there? Yeah. Were you I saw there? what I saw when I walked in. Yeah, you know, every, 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 Okay. Did I ever say you Terrell. do you fucker do not touch me? Get his fucking hands off me. You Get you your fucking hands off me. Cool. Hey, if you keep resisting, Get your I'm gonna charge you with that. If you, you know what? I'm gonna charge you with putting your fucking dirty ass hands on me. Stop moving, let him take off your watch. Fuck you. You don't get to touch me. You are a disgusting piece of shit. Right, the next time up. no, the next time you fucking touch me. Hey, get in the car. Sit in the car. No. He doesn't get to touch me. Okay, sit in the car. In the car. car. Follow, use the words and let these are hands. Hey, get no. in the car. If you don't, you're going to get touch charged me. with obstructing. If get he in the car. touches right, me get again. Get in the car, Sean. Get your fucking hands off Sean, me. Sean, he's not even touching you. Get in the car. Oh, but he I'm did. not touching you. No, he's touched okay, me. Okay, get in the car, he's Sean. He's touched me like way more times than appropriate. Yeah. Sean, get in you know the car. He, no, do you know what he's done? Stop kicking us. I'm going to kick you right in the during the entire incident, Sean held a grudge against a specific cop, the one who had announced her arrest warrant. This warrant was issued due to the charges of domestic violence against her ex-husband, whom she allegedly tried to run over with her car. Do you understand how many times he's touched me? Do you understand how many times he's touched me? Alright, we have a couple of charges of our own too, so it's going to be a lot. We could just do what he says. Oh, no, no. Listen to what no, he says verbally. I'm coming for him. Okay. My attorney is filing charges against you. Hey, let's, let's take her out of you here. Are no I'm going to identify her. Uh, I'll meet you guys dirtiest, at the PD. Okay. You're bad that I've ever witnessed in my entire fucking life. Do you need anything in regards you. to your house? I am suing you. Do you need anything? Gally. Gally. You are dead. What's that? You are getting sued. No, no. What'd you say before that? Face is you said I am dead. What do you mean by that? You are. Elaborate on it if you mean it. You, you're getting sued. You have touched me. More Do Agassault too. She tried to bite me. Way more 
<laughs> you think you're cool? You can beat up a girl? Good for you. Good for Henry, you. 20, I'm transporting one female by the station coffee starting. Good for you. As she unsuccessfully attempted to bite the cop, it became evident to everyone that she could pose a more significant threat. Sean faced charges of aggravated DUI, aggravated assault, and resisting. One week after the incident, she incurred additional charges, which included endangering the health or life of a child. Remember folks, getting into a fight with a cop is never a good idea. Just cooperate with them, even if you are innocent. It might cost you some money, but if you resist, it'll cost you more than a couple of bucks. Thanks for watching till the end.